Rolling, rolling. Let's start. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna start the video over here. Keep those ears peeled. Let's make sure the volume's on. I'm sorry. Yeah, Evie, uh, can I have you uh, turn your body? This is just cheap. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. He used to direct porn. Sorry. Yeah, so he's. I, he's, I, he's, I, I trust he's, his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hello! Welcome back to What's the Safe Word. I'm Amp. I am Evie. And today, we're going to be doing something that I've never seen on YouTube before, and I'm kind of excited about it. Um, and we'll get to that in a second, but first, Evie, who are you and how did you get here? So, <laughs> I am a fellow YouTube content creator. I talk about BDSM and sexuality and helping people start their journeys into BDSM online. And I am actually here visiting for Folsom weekend, and since I was in town, I thought it'd be really fun to meet up with Amp and everybody else and uh, film a video together, so here we are. And so instead of doing something really heavily researched or like a really in-depth topic, I was like, I'm never gonna have this opportunity again, <laughs> I don't feel like. And there's this trend on YouTube, and I'm not sure if you've ever seen it, but it's a following a tutorial using only sound. Yeah. So I figured, makeup, bondage, they're both kind of complicated and require a bunch of steps. Let's take one of the videos from our large library of bondage ties and see if someone can follow it properly. Put our own sister spin on this trend. <laughs> like the makeup community, it's real big, the YouTubers. YouTubers? Have you ever I've never, I've never <laughs> Missed opportunity, by the way, not calling yourselves YouTubers. Missed opportunity, beauty community. Hell yeah! But, Usually I do this video with Christopher, who's, mm -hmm. hi Christopher. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Who is very good with bondage. He knows the ropes, if you will. So we've tied him into this episode today on the Handycam, but I wanted to try and do an audio tutorial only for a bondage tie. Oh. And I know that you're familiar with bondage. Yeah. How experienced are you with bondage, would you um, say? I've been bottoming for rope for about three years. Okay. Um, but I don't really have any experience tying, actually. What kind of YouTuber are you? So, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'm excited, but like a little bit nervous. Well, and mm -hmm. I, I have chosen an easy one. I went through our entire catalog of like 20 bondage mm -hmm. ties. Um, some of them were not very well done back <laughs> in the day. Watching old content. Cringe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Show me. Sure. Thanks. I'm gonna take the elevator back down now. Okay. But this time, I chose up one of our recent ties. I'm not gonna tell you anything besides it's called the braided cuff tie. Okay. So that that is the start. And Evie has never seen this video whatsoever. And we have a whole a whole spread down here of multiple items. Some might be used for the tie, some might just be misleading. Who knows? I mean, I know, but Evie doesn't. <laughs> so are you ready for a challenge today? Yes, Are you I ready to, to get started? Yes. So before we get started, I just wanna ask you to make sure, are you okay with me touching you? Is there anywhere that I should avoid touching? Any words that we wanna establish before we get into this in case stuff gets uncomfortable? Not that I'm expecting you to, but it is always good to ask, even if it's just something for fun. You know, the only tension that's gonna happen in this video is hopefully with the rope. Okay. You are totally good, you have full consent, you can mm -hmm. touch wherever. Um, luckily this tie doesn't get too crazy personal. So, okay. so yeah, you'll, you'll be good. Uh, Christopher, you're totally in our shot. <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> okay. So just, just that one. I'm trying to be where you're gonna be tying. You're gonna tie here, you're gonna tie there, with your lip, your lip. No, it's not. This is probably just really silliness at the beginning. <laughs> I'm waiting for the puns. Hey. <laughs> this is just Christopher being silly. <laughs> We're not fighting. Oh God. What a way to start a bondage tutorial. Oh my God, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Am. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today, we're doing a new bondage tie, which I haven't seen before. We're gonna go a little off the cuff today. We're gonna just pull the tie out of our sleeves. Okay. And we're doing what is called a braided cuff tie. It's very similar to the cat's paw tie I do. But what oh. is really good is, so do you know what a cat's paw is? I've heard of it, I th I've seen it, I think it's been tied on me before, but it's it gets called a bunch of different names, so I'm not sure if it's something that I would just know how to do, but okay. I'm familiar with the concept. Okay. This not gives you something to grab onto. So uh -huh. where some cuffs can cut off circulation or get in the way of your hands or just block that blood in a really, really bad way, this one gives you something to hold onto to squeeze your hands and get that blood flowing. Constrict around the wrist, causing them okay. fatigue. 
yeah, We're given a lot of clues. It's also very pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> very important. It's gotta be aesthetic. And much like Christopher, it's also very pretty. <laughs> You're so pretty. Good save. <laughs> Wait a sec. Oh, I'll let you watch this part. That one part. Secret hidden talent! Hey. Can I go? Sure. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at wow. that skill. Great. Oh, that's... You're just throwing the same rope up in the air. <laughs> that's juggling. That's yeah. Wow. <laughs> 15 foot? Okay, I heard something, we were laughing, and I heard something about 15. Okay. I feel like that's an important decision, but... It's just a small world in general. Not all these items are gonna be something you might need today, but... Hmm. I feel like I should probably start by like... Sometimes you guys like do your little bundles differently. <laughs> that's part of like... Oh god. <laughs> it's like, how do you guys do this? Okay, I figured it out. It took a minute. It's not that difficult, Daddy. I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at you. <laughs> this is, I retied this because somebody just threw it in the drawer. I would never. Okay, I know for sure this one's 15 feet. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, this one's definitely way longer. Too long. Oh, you coil your ropes like me. That's yeah. not, that is not, <laughs> Evie, no. You're teaching daddy that. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the bondage. <laughs> the first step of the break cup tie is taking one of your pieces of rope and finding the bite. Let's put the other but, one. Okay, so you know what the bite is? Yeah, the bite is the center of the rope. And people also sometimes get this marked at the center line, so it makes it easier to find, but you guys don't do that. Th so. That is smart, though. Yeah, it's yeah. really good for beginners, but honestly, it's it's really easy to just go, like, I don't know why I'm giving a tutorial inside of this tutorial. But... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's, it's kind of the point, is, the, like, the meta-ness. Yeah, and well then done. there you go. Okay, Evie's doing well so far. Do you what? know what I call the other side? With That's the, the working end? I call them the bitter end. Parents. I mean, that makes sense. And also, I feel like this one's probably seen like better days. That's why it's so bitter. It's yeah. bitter days. It's like, why have you treated me this way? Find your bite. Ah. We did that. And then you're going to ask your willing participant how they're doing today. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, how are you doing? Great. Okay. I'm excited to be here. Awesome. Take that bite and wrap it around their thumb, <laughs> just like so. Okay, so you got the bite, got the thumb. Just like so. Different finger. Why? No. Oh, and this is where he flips off the camera. <laughs> Are we gonna get demonetized by proxy? <laughs> so moving down here, we're gonna wrap around once, coming underneath that first wrap, and up, and we're gonna go around the fingers. Making a nice braided look. Like a loaf of braided bread. That's not like burning too much, is it? No, no, you're Okay. Fine. Some people like hate the rope burn. Some people love it. I like the rope burn. Give it to me. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> okay. I know that we're, we're going, I think. You're doing great. You're doing great. Would you get out of the frame? <laughs> Nothing but professionalism here. So okay. you have a total of six wraps around the back of your hand. So six wraps around the back of the hand. How many do we have so far? I think we've got, well, how do we? One, two, three. I think this would be four. So. Okay. So do we just keep Six wraps around the back of the hand, alternating well, we need to the reverse. I know I need to like reverse tension, but like at what point do I do that? <laughs> this is the exciting part. <laughs> this is the exciting part. I feel like I'm supposed to go under this, but then that's maybe just my instinct of like, that's how I, I know. I want to help you, you so like bad, me. but I can't. And that's I kind of, so it's bad. like a bondage, like chastity. <laughs> I'm sure you're just like dying. You're like, I know the bondage. I get the help. First, I feel like I should be going under something. I just feel like there should be help. I want to help so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great, sweetie. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, what I'm seeing so far is, it looks cool. It looks cool. It's not what it's supposed to be. I didn't say that. Yeah, so you think we're at two, three, four, and now we're at five. In okay. each wrap. So you have a total of six wraps around the back of your hand before making the lock in the front. Bring that hand up. We are gonna go ahead and take that loot off the thumb. Very carefully, very carefully. Ah! 
Did someone die? You were hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a raptor. We're gonna bring our ends through that loop okay. and tighten. Mm -hmm. And then from here, we're gonna make one little loop and mm -hmm. pull our ends underneath, in between the rope and the fingers. Okay. In between the rope and the fingers. And tighten to lock it down. And now, we have a nice little handle. Why does it should be going on your, on your palm or on the upside? I don't necessarily know if it matters. We technically... Hold it! We technically didn't say in the video, so I can't answer that question. I feel like maybe it doesn't matter. I feel like we're freeforming it. I think you can lead from whatever direction you want. Process of elimination. <laughs> Hypotheses. Do do. Other critical thinking words. <laughs> Things and stuff. I feel like this works as like a handle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, if your hands don't slip, I feel like I need, I know words, but I don't know how to do the things. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like it would, it would, does that hurt your fingers at all? Like, I feel like it might slip up, but maybe it doesn't. No, it doesn't hurt. Okay. Does and would like you say this is a nice breed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you, when you, when you <laughs> top fight, you just gotta like rein him in, like rodeo. I love that you're just trying to pull, but I like it. You're just like, ah. <laughs> way, like, Who's the top? I'm a top. <laughs> so it is. It, yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, it's kind of. It's got its own aesthetic. I feel like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what happened? Did you just die in the video? There's a lot of dying in this. Video. <laughs> So at this part in the video, I do know that th this is where the second rope would be used okay. to do. But let's look at this. How I mean, do you think you did? I mean, I feel like I got close. So I feel like I kind of know how it should look, but somehow in the weaving, I messed up the weaving. <laughs> but otherwise, I feel like I got Little I got flat. the knot in a place where you can hold it. Mm -hmm. I got it around the wrist, and it doesn't slip up and hurt you. And, and I, I can fit like... two fingers in there, yeah. so it's good tension. It's not too tight, but let's uh, let's do a little reveal and show Evie how it actually looked in our video. <laughs> Probably way better. That's the oh. <laughs> so now is the moment that we're revealing the, the actual tie tutorial and how it looks in our bondage tie, and we'll see how Evie did. Oh, okay. Well, the thing that confused me was the thumb and the finger, because mm -hmm. I'm like, but there's four. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure if it was a tie that was supposed to go like through the fingers, but I'm like, that's not, that can't be comfortable. That's like a torture thing. And I think the only thing that you might have done a little wrong is one of the wraps that might have gone back here, it gets wrapped around, and it didn't get part of that little loop. Otherwise, you 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 nailed it. Look at that. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's pretty spot on. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm well done. I'm actually really a, impressed. I want a picture of this. I want like, <laughs> I want, like look what I can do. <laughs> I'm a real bondage top. I'm a top. Wow. Okay, okay. So well done. I mean, that's that's it. You, you yeah. nailed it. So now. Uh, now we untie it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. We'll see you later. No. <laughs> no tie him up over there. Yeah. Hey now. Okay. No. No. No bottoming from the top over there. <laughs> Topping from the bottom. I'll top your bottom. Whoa. I'm a switch. <laughs> I don't know why people laugh when I say I'm a top, okay? It's not that funny. Is it because Apparently it is. Is it because top has two syllables when I say it or <laughs> So, what was that easy? Like it was it was not as uh, hard to follow as I thought it might be just audio only. So, there's most bond tutorials are just like pictures and you just look at the pictures and you're like, "I hope I know what I'm doing." And probably a lot less death in velociraptors, but yeah, otherwise. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that's part of the brand, though. Like. Yes, we are all uh, we are pro velociraptor on mm -hmm. what's the safe word? Prehistoric values, really. <laughs> Prehistoric values. <Wow>. Okay. <laughs> no, it just encourages him, but it is. But it's fine. Well, thank you, and actually, you mm -hmm. well high five on that one. Woo. You did very well, considering you only had audio and. You're not much of a rope top, you said? Yeah, I've done it once to myself, and that was it, so. Well done. Okay, well, I mean, that's it. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was fun. Well, thank you so much for coming on, Evie. Uh, well done with the tie. Thank you. Spot on, as far as I'm concerned. Like, being on the spot with an audience, like, camera crew, like, <laughs> just a lot of pressure. Yeah. Peanut gallery, emphasis on peanut gallery, <laughs> because he's nuts. What? <laughs> peanut. Get it. Uh, but of course, before we go, I always like to make sure that we we plug, pun intended. So how can people find you on the internet? So if people want to find me, the best place to that is here on YouTube, 
Evie Lupine. I'm sure links will be down in the description, I assume. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we also have a podcast that's called King Cure World, and we do that every two weeks. And then I'm also on Tumblr, Instagram, Evie Lupine. If you search for me, you'll probably find me on there. <laughs> well, awesome. Thank you again so much. Daddy, you're in the camera. Daddy. <laughs> and he's, he directed porn. Oh, ooh, the shade. <laughs> well done, well done. I like her. She can, Evie can come on anytime. <laughs> ooh, if you have ideas for next time, comment down below if you'd like to see Evie back on. I mean, San Francisco yeah, sometime it. in the future, please. Yeah. Um, and don't forget to check out our other videos down in the descriptions, and we'll see you guys next time. Right. Bye. Bye. And whether you're the top or the bottom of the situation, and you are at the top today. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's weird. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new experience. It's a new experience. Always have a safe word. And today's safe word, Evie, is top. Um, I guess the safe word today is going to be orange. Ooh. Okay. I definitely have never used that before, and it, it absolutely makes me, ooh, because it just makes me think of Cheetos, which makes me think oh. of other things. Anyway.